Welcome to this step-by-step -step WordPress tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to take a step through logging in and updating your WordPress website when you're using the popular Avada theme. Now there's a number of things to bear in mind but the first step is to get to your admin login area you need to go to your domain name whichever it is and then at the end type in WP hyphen admin now depending on your security in your website this should be the standard URL that you use to log in and if it's any different you'll need to either look at the URL that you've set up with any security plugins or speak to your web designer to get the actual login URL but generally it's forward slash WP hyphen admin and so once you've got your details just log in Right, so once you've logged in with your username and password, you should be taken to the WordPress dashboard. And what you'll see running along the left-hand side is a dark gray menu, which basically points you to all the features that you have available in WordPress. In this tutorial, as I mentioned, we're gonna focus on the Avada theme. And with the Avada theme, there are a number of settings that you can use in order to edit the two key areas of your WordPress website, which are pages and posts and so this tutorial is going to focus on how you update and edit both of these key areas on your site we're going to start with pages to begin with so if you click on pages on the left you'll see lists and loads a number of pages that are already on your website if you don't have any pages listed already here that's fine if you do you can get in to edit these example pages that are already loaded and maybe it's your actual content for your website if you've already got an established WordPress website. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to hover over the name of the website here and click on the visit site and open this in another tab so we can look at the front end of this particular site and if I go to as an example about us page you'll see that there's some content already here and in this particular page I can edit this content if I wish to and the content we can edit is anything that appears from the top part here where there is a title to the bottom part here where we have some more text. Generally your menus and the header information where your logo is and the footer all of this is controlled by the theme settings that will have already been edited in your Avada theme. So if we want to edit the text on this particular page we can go to the admin bar at the top because we are logged in still and click on edit page. And once this loads it should load the Fusion Builder which is the page builder that is specific to the Avada theme. So what will happen is you'll see that there is a number of blocks that you'll have on your particular page and in this particular example we have some text blocks here and these are the different sections that appear on the about us page for this particular site if we wish to edit one of these we simply hover over the pen tool so you can see the icon on the top right if we want to edit if we want to duplicate this particular block we can clone the element and if you want to delete it we can click on delete in this example we can click on edit if I click on edit this will load up the rich text editor and here we can edit the page as normal as if you're using Microsoft Word so you can edit your text you could put a new line if you press enter if you want to add images in just click on the add media button this will check your files that are currently saved on your website already if you wish to upload new files you can upload them from your computer so you can select files and upload as you wish otherwise you can use images that are already on the computer and in this particular example we can grab this picture here so we click you see it's selected with a tick and then we also have on the right hand side some information about the particular image we've got size if we wish we can actually edit the size of this particular image so let's say it's a bit too big what we can do is scale the image down and this will edit it without you having to use any graphics software so once you change the size of your width and your height you only need to change one or the other because they are linked click on scale it will scale the image and then you can click on go back and then here we actually have a new scaled image that can be used and then we can choose a number of options whether we wish to align the image or just put it in the text we can put it as a link to the image if you want people to click on it and to get to the actual image and then you can choose the size either full size or thumbnail and there is one more option if the picture or the image is bigger which is a medium size and those options appear automatically via WordPress so once you're happy click on insert into page 
and now you'll see the picture has appeared on the page and if we click on save and then we update this particular page top right so you can see the update button over here you see the page status notification where it says page updated that means it's complete now we can open up our page on the front end to have a look at the edit that we've done you can see there is a nice picture there which has been inserted so if we wish to go back in and take this picture away we can click on the edit icon we can open up the editor if we wish to see more of what's going on on the page and we can delete that picture there so what if you want to put a link into your page well it's pretty simple highlight text or a picture that you already have in and then click on insert edit link on the icon here where we have it at the top of the editor and here we can put in any link that we wish to have in the URL text input box so here we could put a link to Google and you can choose whether you open it into a new tab and once you're finished with that you can click on add link and you can see there's a new link click save click update on your page and then if we check the front end again you see I've removed the picture and you can see there's the link that we had on Belgium so I can go back in to the editor again back into the admin area using tabs which basically just allows you to speed up editing highlight the text and if you wish to remove the link click on the, the icon next to the insert edit link which is remove link and the link is removed click save click update on your publishing for the page and you'll see that's done so that's editing a page if you wish to add a new page then you can click on add new So in your page, you'll notice you have the option to add a title. So we're just calling this add new title. Click on the Fusion Builder button and this will load the Fusion Builder. Always start with a full width container. And then from here you have a number of options. So you can either split your page up into different sizes. So you can have halves, thirds, depending on your layout. So we've got two halves here and click on the build elements button and this will give you a number of options for you to use so you can use the text block if you wish to put text into your page and you can use the title block as well if you wish to add titles and you can also insert images so you can use an image frame if you just want a specific image on its own otherwise you can insert images into the text block and there are a number of other features like checklists that can be used so if we just put a few of these examples in and at this point we can click publish so now this page is published as we can see and if we click on the link on the top right opening a new tab we should be able to see our new page so you can see there was some text there was a header but we haven't put any header in yet and there was a checklist that could be used so if you want to start filling these details out what we can do is go back to the editing page here so if we go to title we can put in a title here I'll just put heading and for the checklist if we scroll down click on checklist item 1 and we can put checklist 1 if we need to add another checklist we can add another one so click on add new checklist item open up checklist item 2 and just type in here checklist 2 click save click update on the right hand side and now we can check the page that we had and refresh this page and we can see the new updates that have been done so we have heading we have some text and then we have two checklist items so that's how to create a new page and you can see it's split 50 50 if we wish to change the proportions that are shared you can click on the plus and minus icons next to the page blocks here and so if I click on this one plus we can change it to three-fifths 
or even two thirds and then we reduce the other one to one third and we have an even balance click update and we should see that adjusted on the front end page where we have two thirds of the width and then one third so you can see if we refresh that you can see there's more space used now for the heading and text and the checklist items are over on the right so that's editing pages and adding pages so the next step in our tutorial is to look at posts and from the dashboard you'll get to post by clicking on posts on the left hand side where we have the menu so let's begin on this particular website we have three posts already in or added to the website so if we go to the given page where the posts are stored and normally it would be called your blog or your new section whatever it's called now with the Avada theme it allows you to create a page that pulls in posts so if if we look at this particular page we can see there are three posts submitted or articles or blogs it doesn't matter what you want to refer to them as and if we click on the title for instance this example one we have an image that is showing up which is like a featured image and then we have the text which is normally your blog content that you would have on your page and then on the right hand side we've got a column with different features in like search menus and so on and contact details and depending on the way you've got your website set up with your Vada theme will determine what you actually have in the right hand column you can see the featured image in this particular layout is shown on the left but you can actually have your featured image where they're bigger they've got full screen and your text is underneath and the whole point of the text that is shown is meant to be an introduction so an in introductory part of text or piece of text that you can use so let's look at the existing blogs that we have on there so if we click on recipe one You'll notice that it's very similar to the way that pages are edited where you have a title, you have the content, you then have a couple of extra things you need to keep an eye out for which is categories so you can set up different categories if you wish to categorize your blog posts and those are the key things and the editor works the same way if you wish to put a picture in you can put your cursor where you want the picture to appear then click on the add media button and you can either choose an existing image or you can upload a file so if we chose an existing image we could go here with the logo of this particular site so we've selected that we want the full size image we don't want, want any alignment we just want to keep it um, as natural as possible so no change is needed here we click on insert into post and we will have the image so it's very much the same as you have with pages the editing the one key ingredient is that if you wish to have your blog scheduled out at a specific time we're going to look at publishing shortly so once you've done your edits you'd simply click on update and that would save your edits so this is editing an, an existing post but what if you want to put onto the site something that is new so a new post let's look at that by going back to all posts on the left and so we're going to leave this page and not save the changes so at the top we have posts and you can either click on the left button here the link where it says add new or this link here either one will work so we click on add new and we put in our title so we'll put here blog post one and then below we would put our text this is a post text for this example And all I've done is just copied and paste it so we've got some text that looks like a blog post so there we have our blog post text example at the end of the first introduction or you know at the end of the first sentence what you'll do is go to the end of it press enter on your keyboard and go to a new line and on the editor insert a read more tag and the reason for this I'll explain shortly but find the insert read more tag that looks like this click there you then need to go down on the right choose your category so we'll choose free resources for now and then you can insert a featured image so we need to select an image so we can use an image that is already posted or we can upload a new one I'll use this example one that's already on this site so we set the featured image now we have all of the things that we wish to use we can then look at publishing so here's the cool thing with blogs you can either publish immediately by clicking on the publish button or you can set a publish date so you can schedule them into the future so let's say you have a number of blogs that you've saved onto your wordpress site but actually you want to publish them at different dates so that they automatically publish you simply choose the date here so you've got the month you put in the day 
you then put in the time so generally it would be at whatever time you'd normally publish your article you press OK and then instead of publish you would have the button convert to schedule and that would simply mean that it would schedule them to be published live when the time has come that you've set on this publishing option so in this case we're going to publish immediately so if we click publish and then what we want to do is refresh our page here so we can see if the new article has been posted and so you can see there it is blog post one with the text now I said we'd come back to a particular part so when we were editing the blog if we go back to the editing you'll see that's where I put in the read more tag which is this one here insert read more tag and it shows this dotted line what the read more tag does that limits the blog post up until that point in terms of showing an introductory piece of text so it will show them a teaser piece of text and wherever you put that read more is where that ends and the whole point is that where that ends is the kind of teaser paragraph or piece of text and if people wish to read the full article the full post they need to click on the title to get to it so if we click on it there we have the featured image and then we have all of the text so that's how you insert a blog into your website on WordPress using the Avada theme now there are a number of options but these few steps that I've taken you through will show you will basically show you how to add the blog post to your site and make sure that you've got the right content in the right places with your read more tag your featured image and the category and remember that you can insert images you can do a number of editing options through the editor make things bold you can add links if you need to add links and I would always suggest that when you add a link for instance like we have here this Google link always get it to open in a new tab and the reason for that is it will keep your website in the background whilst it opens a new tab for the person so it's just a good way for people to not go away from your site especially if you want them to continue reading without your website still being available to them so add the link so you see there's a link added there and you can do other things as I've mentioned in the past so for instance let's say you you have a subtitle in your article and we'll call this subtitle you could highlight the text and then click on the editor and choose a heading style and then continue to edit you know as you see fit you could introduce bullets you could center a line or a line to the left or right so whatever options you need in order to update the appearance of your blog post and so let's scroll down and you can see we have the subtitle and we'll also have a link in there at some point we probably need to um, change the color on this particular site just so the links stand out a bit better and then you can also see here there's an example where we've made that in bold and at that point that ends the tutorial for editing your posts on WordPress and therefore allowing you to have blogs